Okay, here with uh, Kate and uh, Bug Edwards. So talk about like your basketball journey. How did you get started playing? How did you get to where you are today? Uh, my first sport was soccer. So I was out there running around, kicking the ball, and my dad was like, oh, well, let's try football since he's so fast. And I went out there and dominated football too. And then he was like, well, let's try my sport because my mom and dad played basketball in college. So they were like, well, let's try this sport. And that's just how I got started. I think I was like maybe five, six years old. Okay. And did you know that you could be good at basketball like right away or what was that like? Um, you know, I started playing like in the high post and like since I was fast, I would just be running the floor, getting easy buckets, easy buckets. And then I just started working on my game. My dad was like, okay, we're going to take this to the next level. And I just trusted him and he's just been with me ever since. Where did your parents uh, play? For they played at uh, Bethune-Cookman in uh, Daytona Beach, Florida. Okay, nice. Both of them like guards mm -hmm. or what position? Mm -hmm. Both guards. Okay. What are some things that they've kind of like instilled in you over the years? Um, instilled in me is uh, more than basketball, probably being a great teammate, a great leader. Um, defense, like they always just tell me defense wins championships, rebounds. They don't really talk to me about offense too much because they know I'm a prolific scorer. They know I'm going to go score. They just talk to me about the little things that it takes to win. You know, last time we spoke with you, you touched on defense as well. Sure. Uh, you know, why is that something that you take pride in? Um, I mean, because in college, I mean, you don't really play without playing defense. And um, for me, I would like to go to college and impact winning. And impacting winning is just doing those little things to win, playing defense, talking, little things like that. Have you always had that mindset? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, for those who haven't seen you play, like talk about your game. What are some of your strengths as well? Um, some of my strengths are shooting threes from the outside. I can create it anytime I want to. Um, working on that ball screen actions. Um, and just running the floor, sprinting to those corners. When we get a rebound, push and transition. Um, I'm a great on-ball, not a great on-ball defender, but that's something that I'm working on still. I'm a good on-ball defender, using my length to stay in front of guys. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, aside from defense as well, what do you feel like is underrated about you? Underrated, I'd probably say getting to that left-hand layup whenever I want to. Like, anytime I want to, just running past the defender, making a quick move, and just get into that left-hand layup. You know, I know Duncanville historically has been a powerhouse and stuff like that. A lot of changes this year. Yes, sir. Uh, what are some of your personal goals for this season? Personal goals, just lead these young guys. You know, uh, they've never really been put in this position before. It's new roles for everybody, including me. Last year with Ron and KJ, I didn't have to do any of that. The year before that with AB, I didn't really have to do anything. I just played my role. So this year my role has changed from being just that hit shots guy to be a leader, talk out on the floor, be that another coach on the floor. Do you feel like you're kind of developing into like a natural leader and stuff like that? Yes, sir. I really uh, been working on it in practice. Coach Peavy, will, me and him will meet from time to time after every, after every practice. And he'll just tell me different stuff that he sees and stuff that he's coached, people that he's coached, leaders that he's coached, people that are in the league that he's coached, and just model after them. For sure. Um, you know, get into your recruitment a little bit. Just what's the latest in terms of interest and offers? Um, offers, I have offers from Texas, Arkansas, TCU, Texas Tech, UCF, um, Kansas State. Um, I really can't think of them all the top of my head right now, but I keep in contact with all of them. Uh, they all are just more than basketball. They care about me, my family, my game, and that's just what I'm looking for in a college. Any schools that you'd love to see get involved in your recruitment? Um, really just any school who believes in me and my game. Um, I'm not really going to just sit here and say, oh, I want to go to Duke or I want to go to Kansas or something like that. I just want the best school for me, best position to get me to my future goals, which is to play in the league. Mm -hmm. Like I, on that note, like ideally, you know, what would you want out of a school of choice? Um, just more than basketball, on me every single day, not letting up. Um, making me be the best player that I can be on the floor and off the floor. Do you enjoy like getting coached hard? Is that something you kind of thrive off of? Yes, sir, because um, maybe if, say I have one practice, I'm not really into it or something's going on at home or something like that and I'll just come in and I have a good day. I need that, that coach to just get on me. Hey, Bug, you got things to do. You got priorities. Let's go. Let's lock in. Like I just need that extra kick to get me going. For sure. Um, you know, getting to know you a little bit off the floor, like outside of basketball, I mean, do you need hobbies or interests that you're into? Um, I really like to cook. Um, I take culinary at my school, so I really like to cook different things. And uh, I really like to ride horses. Like, that's just 
growing up, I just used to go to my family's ranch and just ride horses all the time. Okay, gotcha. You go on like long horseback mm -hmm. rides or compete at all? Mm -hmm. Not really compete, just out in the open, just find a horse and tame it, stuff like that, and just ride. Okay. Yes, sir. That's awesome, man. <laughs> That's a first for yes, the Q&A series. Mm -hmm. I know we were talking about this a little bit off camera, but go to dishes in your culinary mm -hmm. class. Um, culinary, I just really like to cook fry, uh, fried rice, like little Chinese food, chow mein, stuff like that. Um, but really just fried rice, that's what got me going, and I'm just learning new things to cook and just stuff like that. Do you have like a favorite uh, or go to like pre or post game meal that you like? Um, breakfast, I love pancakes and bacon. So before, like if I have a morning game, pancake, pancakes and bacon and apple juice is a must. Um, I really like uh, chicken tenders and fries. Uh, that's what I had today before lunch. I had canes. So uh, I really like chicken tenders and fries before the games. Um, and that's really just it. Any uh, like books, movies, TV shows you're into right now? Um, TV shows. I like the cooking TV shows, the chopped okay. and all the cooking TV shows. Um, movies. I really like my favorite movie is He Got Game with uh, these are Shuttlesworth in them. So um, really, that's just my that's my favorite movie and the shows that I like to watch. Okay, nice. What would you say is maybe some of like the best advice you've ever received? Um, that's a tough one. There's a whole bunch of advice. Um, one of them be just like uh, from my dad and coaches, but mainly my dad. Control what you can control. You're, you get down five points to get the ball back. You get a turnover, short-term memory. Um, you're a shooter, shoot or shoot. If you miss, you're gonna hit the next one, so yeah. If you could go out to dinner with any person, either past or present, who would that person be and why? Out to dinner, um, I'm probably gonna say Russell Westbrook because that's just my favorite player uh, in the league. He's been my favorite player since he was with the Thunder. Um, but yeah, getting to know him and us talk about different stuff, that would be really cool to go out to dinner with him. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, a few more questions, but you know, if you had a hashtag to describe yourself, what would that hashtag be? Um, probably hashtag winners win. Because um, coming from the Duncanville freshman year, state champ, national champ, uh, second year, national champ, I just, I know how to win. And we'll close it with this, but ideally, you know, five or six years from now, like where do you see yourself? Um, Lord willing, five or six years from now, I'd like to see myself in the NBA. Um, you know, impact winning NBA championship here and there, uh, maybe some MVP little stuff in there. But yeah, five or six years from now, I'd like to be in the league. Awesome, thank you, man. Yes, sir.